Well, afternoon. First of all, Happy New Year to you all. I hope you've all had a good Christmas and a good New Year. Finally back out. I've not been too well over Christmas and then I'll work at New Year. I've only got a couple of days off and then back at work. So it's the uh, seventh is it today? I think it's seventh. Or maybe eighth, it might be eighth actually. So I've only got four days off this week and then I'm back at weekend. Well, I hope you've all had a good New Year, a good Christmas. So it's, uh, it's good to be back at. I'm hoping 2020 brings as much enjoyment for me as what it did last year, I'm sure it will. I'm hoping to get to some new places and that this year. Planning on for Wales and that this year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out and explore Wales. Up in Glidders and Snowdonia and all that, so fingers crossed. But we're just heading for a, when I short, say a short quicken. It's not exactly a short quicken because we're still walking for a mile ish. I parked down at Lady Bower and we're going up onto Derwent Edge to a little spot where I've been wanting to camp for quite a while. It's a little idyllic spot, well photographed, salt cellar. And I'm hoping there's some nice little spots there to camp. If not, we'll be going past Wheelstones. I don't know, there's plenty of spots around there. So, at minute, it's nice and calm. We're in for a nice evening, a nice night. It's going to be a bit cloudy forecast, but there's a bit of sun. So hopefully we might get a little bit of colour in the sky, a bit of a moody sunset, hopefully. But then tomorrow morning, from about 3 o'clock, winds are due to get up, heavy rain. Tomorrow morning, something like 50 mile an hour winds, gusts on that tomorrow morning, so I've got my waterproofs on that bag. It's not that far back down, like I say, it's only about 3 and a half, 4 miles to where we're going, so. so. Yeah, good to be back out. Let's get moving. salt cellar so as I was saying I've been wanting to come and have a little camp here for quite a number of years so you sort of maybe halfway up Derwent Edge you've got this what's the whole lot of this is Derwent Edge but what what's come more commonly is that start of Derwent Edge there that outcrop and if I don't know if you can see it any distance that's back to our right at the top that's like top of Derwent Edge and then it drops down onto uh, Lost Ladder and I've camped up there a few times in years gone by. And it's uh, looking over towards Kinder over there. You know, we've got Crook Hill just here, Wynn Hill, and Great Ridge and that along there. And forecast got this wind direction wrong. It was supposed to be a south-easterly wind, but this wind's a south-westerly wind. So I'm going to have a look about for the pitch now, it's about quarter past three 
We had summer solstice a few weeks back, didn't we? So we're on to right side at uh, long nights now. We're getting a bit more light on the night. I don't think sunsets will about 10 past 4 tonight. Which it'll be setting over there or looking over towards Manchester. We have a bleak low on that, so. Now have a little look about for the pitch now and I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, so there we are, we're uh, set up. About eight past four now. Uh, before I set tent up and everything, I, I got I fetched my camera and tripod, and uh, I wanted to get some nice photos at uh, Salt Cellar. It's a, a well photographed piece of grit stone up here. There's a lot in it. Is wheel stones. There's windstone leto, uh, some of the Herkling stones, wheel stones. And then there's white tar, salt cellar, and a bit further up here. We've got bread cakes, or cakes of bread, and then uh, back tower, which is right up at top. But it's, uh, ah yeah, I say, uh, got, got some nice pictures on camera, looking in different directions, down off towards Lady Bow, so that's Lady Bow, Bow down there, and looking that way up towards back tower and that, so I'll, hopefully I'll have a play about with them a little bit later, see what they'll come out like. So yeah, I've just, uh, it's not all that cold, it's, uh, I've just checked wind speeds with sky watch and temperatures, temperatures 7, 8 degrees, it's only, it's only 2 and 3 degrees in wind chill, 7, 8 mile an hour winds with 14, 15 mile an hour gusts at worst, best, but like I say, I've just rechecked forecast as well, and it is due to uh, get worse from sort of 3 o'clock in the morning, 3 a.m., heavy rain, and gusts, my, the wind's up to 30 mile an hour, gusting up to 50, like 48, 50 mile an hour from the uh, southwest, which is that way, which is which way wind's coming from. Now, forecast now is a south easterly wind, which is that way, but wind's coming from southwest. So that's metaphor. That's met office for you. So, so I ain't uh, I ain't fetched all me winter gear. I've only fetched my micro light, my dark rad micro light, light jacket, I ain't fetched big one. Uh, I ain't fetched all my full thermals, my down bottoms. I've fetched my hot socks. Uh, I've just fetched me down, me other down, uh, not down pants, me uh, thermal bottoms, me older ones, just to slip on to we didn't get into bed with. And I've just got me merino hoodie on underneath this jacket. And I'm, I'm perfectly fine, nice and toasty. It's not cold at all, really, so should be in for a decent neat. See what that uh, weather brings it morning. I was saying I've got me uh, waterproofs with me and that in case it is rough. So I've got a couple of drinks. I've got a couple of roses pig. Rhubarb cloudy cider for tonight. I'll be cracking one of them up in a minute. Having a bit of tea later on, 8, 9 o'clock. Watch a bit of YouTube, eh? Cracking. Cracking little spot, this. Evening. Just gone 8 o'clock. I've, uh, I've had an hour or so in the tent watching a bit of YouTube, catching up on some videos. And as you can hear, or not here, as the case may be, that bit of a breeze we had when we were setting up just after, it's totally gone. Not a breath of wind, not a thing. Not that I'm complaining, soon as it might be uh, the total opposite tomorrow morning, but it shall be what it is. I say it's just gone eight o'clock. I've, I've just had camera out. Just just have it back here. I'm in a bit of long exposure. There's there's no stars out. There's no clear skies. 
uh, that what I was doing is I noticed a bit looking over, and you'll not see it like, but looking over to the west over there towards Manchester and that, there's some nice cloudy sky and uh, obviously light pollution. It's putting a nice little bit of light up into, into clouds. So I set the tripod up and camera up just over the back here, put my lantern on it, tent, and I was shining my torch, my, my head torch, against salt cellar there, that, that formation that you've seen. And uh, just experimenting with a few different uh, shutter speeds and ISO and everything. And uh, took an handful of shots, and there's a couple on them. Well, the look as though they've turned out all right, up back at camera. So I'll, uh, I might put uh, one of them on if it looks all right. But yeah, it, uh, it, coming up with some nice colour in clouds of a Manchester way, so it looked quite nice that. So. It's that nice out here tonight, there's no, like I said, no wind, it's quite mild. So what I think I'm going to do is make me send another brew and have half an hour stood out here. Nice, uh, nice night, up on Dermot Edge. Morning. Back tonight. No way near as bad as I was expecting this morning. We got that forecast was saying last night, yesterday. It's been every rain through me, really every rain. Uh, I've had the earplugs in as always, and but I can still get rain. But wind, wind weren't no way near as bad as what the forecast. Supposed to be like 50 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour gusts. Just checked it, it's only like 8 10 mile an hour winds, and it's just gusting up to like 25 28 mile an hour. And whether it'll get any worse this morning goes on, I don't know. It's, it's supposed to be in the forecast bad now. So, I didn't leave town, went to bed about 11 ish. And I've just got up when I woke up, and it went about 20 past 8, so I've had a really good sleep. Apart, apart from getting woke up, like I said, odd time with hearing heaviness at rain. There's quite a few puddles knocking about, so it's, it's put some down. I've had a really good sleep, really, really, really good sleep. So, once I've had my uh, drink, a brew, and a bit of breakfast, I've got some breakfast on. Adventure food, expedition breakfast. It's just eating up. I'll be packing my gear up and getting off. I'll probably put waterproof coat on just to walk down in just in case. Well, uh, yeah, it's nowhere near as bad as what I thought it was going to be. wind has got up after I'd had my brew and my breakfast I got out to, out to take a few pictures with my phone and uh, we got a weather front coming in over kinder every day so I got back in and wind's got up we, it came over it's only lasted about five minutes a day but uh, these winds have got up recorded wind again with sky watch 50 mile an hour winds in a 45 mile an hour gust have recorded so I got back in packed up I just need to get the boots on now and uh, drop ten when we're off. So it's about eight past nine now. I'm happy to be here. Well, thanks for watching as always. 
thanks for all new subscribers and all views for 2019. I hope you've enjoyed them. There are plenty more to come this year, 2020. Like I said at the start, I think I'm going to try and get a few visits into Wales this year. It's been on the wish list for quite a while there. Obviously, I'd only await glitters and that. So, glitter fat and Y garn and or E garn, as I think they call it. So, I'm planning on getting up there quite a handful of times this year. Plus, I'll be getting back to the lakes so before long. But uh, I'm at 115 now with my Wainwrights. So, I'll be ticking a few more of them off this year as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.